why do leaders feel invisible? Great question, Sal. Um, the word invisible can come through on a, on a variety of different um, contexts, if you like. So when we're starting a new job, we pretty much are invisible to the majority of people in the organisation. They know what role we hold. They know what seat we sit in. However, they don't really know anything about us. And when we look at why we want to build teams, we want to build people around us that we know that we like, that we get on with, that we, you know, we have that rapport, we respect, we know that they've got the capabilities. So a lot of this work comes into moving from invisible to becoming influential. And we feel invisible when we're not heard, when we, uh, we, we fear putting our hand up and speaking our piece. We're not too sure if it's a safe environment for us to do so yet. We feel invisible when we might have ideas and they're not being picked up. We also feel invisible when, I guess, when we really want to say what's on our mind and it can feel dismissed or it can feel not as important. And sometimes we just try and speak louder. We try to be the loudest person in the room or in the meeting or we're constantly talking all the time, but it's not really getting us anywhere. So it's these types of things that, that can make us feel invisible. And I think that's why middle managers need to come to the middle manager's muster because in your session, you're going to talk about the process of getting to or getting from that sense of being invisible to influential and even inspirational. So if you're a middle manager and you feel invisible, come to this muster and take on board Emma's model from invisible to influential. The muster is from the 2nd to the 4th of June. Click on the link below. Can't wait to see you there. Thanks, Emma. Thanks, Sally.